Hi, my dear friends and my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Hope you all are fine by the grace of God. Welcome back. Today for the meditation, the Holy Spirit has graciously given us a new topic that is crowd, cross and the crown. Crowd, cross and the crown. And in this, he has given us a subtopic that is discontentment, greed and rebellion. Discontentment, greed and rebellion. Please turn your Bibles to Genesis chapter 3. We will start from verse 1 onwards. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 onwards. Now before we continue, the Holy Spirit would like to um, give us some revelation of what is going to be covered? This is very important what we are going to do today. Please listen carefully. First pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit and He will lead us into all the truth and reveal to us the will of God. And by God's grace, when we do the will of God, we will end up in the kingdom of God by His mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, the first thing, we have covered these things in the previous videos. Please go to the channel Grace Fresh Foods and watch those videos with the help of the Holy Spirit and be blessed. This is about uh, talking about Lucifer when, you know, that is in Isaiah chapter 14, thank you Lord, and Ezekiel chapter 28. That is about Lucifer, how Lucifer became a devil, Satan the devil. That is because I pride and because of iron pride, the heart is hardened, right? So that is how the Lucifer became the devil. So regarding this, how the eye started and the pride started in Lucifer, even deeper the Holy Spirit wants to take us and, you know, expose what is there uh, behind, you know, hiding behind his eye and pride and all that, so that we make sure those evil seeds, those evil seeds, they should not come. We shouldn't allow the devil to instill those evil seeds into us. Amen. So we have to be very vigilant, my dear brothers and sisters. Right. So about that, the first thing is discontentment. Remember, the word says, when Lucifer was created, God created him to be perfect in beauty. And he was, you know, full of wisdom and, you know, all the instruments were there. And because he was in charge of worship and all that. And he was put in charge of one third of angels and so many things were there. God loves everyone. You know, God is love. And when he created, even Lucifer, he created out of love. That's why so much of things given to Lucifer. But in spite of all these things which God lovingly blessed him with, he was not content. That's the start of evil. Start of evil is discontentment. Let me have some water. please. Start of evil is discontentment. Now in spite of all these blessings, he was not content. When, you know, he, the word says, uh, he was the anointed cherub that covers the throne. God uh, appointed him to cover the throne. God's very throne. See what a glorious position it is. Oh, this discontentment is very, very evil and dangerous, my dear brothers and sisters. We shouldn't allow this discontentment to come into us. That is an evil seed. The wheat, the devil try to instill into us, into our hearts and minds. Please be aware. Please be vigilant. We have an enemy who walks around whom he may devour. So, when God put him in charge of, you know, covering the throne, then he looked at all the angels coming and, uh, you know, they bow down and worship God. Then he, you know, that's the first thing it came to him. Why not those glory, the honor, what if I get, God forbid, what if I get, that's what uh, came into Lucifer because he was discontent with all the loving blessings he God has showered upon him. The beauty, the wisdom, 
uh, you know, he was in charge of one third of angels, the instruments, the talent. He was in charge of worship and all that. And covering the throne, he was the anointed cherub. He was discontent. That's very, very dangerous. The root of I is discontentment. So, because of discontentment, then now he's not content, you know, he's not satisfied. Greed came in. That's the second thing. Greed, that's a second evil, the root of I and pride. Greed, he wants more. You know, and now he's looking at God because now it has come into his mind that, you know, he wants to get the honor and glory that God is getting. How stupid can he be? Hey, that is the one and only God. Of course, he deserves all the praise, the honor and worship, oh, what everything, glory, everything. He deserves because he is the one and only God who created everything. Even Lucifer, God created. God created only Lucifer. He chose to become the devil called Satan. God did not create Satan and all that. In the same way, we also have to be careful. God created us in his image and likeness. We By, uh, you know, whether we believe it or not, by creation. We are the children of God by creation. And of course, we have to be the children of God in spirit also, being by, you know, having the water baptism by immersion and being born again in the spirit. This was covered in the previous videos. Please watch them. So, now greed has gripped his heart. He wanted to get those honor. That's why he was saying, okay, how is God getting it? Oh, it is because God has a throne, God has a kingdom and so on. So he also wants to have a kingdom. He also wants to have a throne and all that. And he wants to have people serving him and all that. That's how he deceived the one third of angels and brought them also. You know, when he was banished out of heaven, he pulled them also with him. You know, with his, all his lies and the deception and all that. They were foolish and they, they were deceived. We thank God, you know, Archangel Michael and Gabriel and all of the angels, they did not, you know, uh, allow this kind of evil seeds to be uh, instilled into them. We thank God for the, all those angels. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me have some water, please. Now greed has come into him. So he wants to have a, his own kingdom and throne and all those things. Because of that, because of greed, he started rebelling. He, tell, he told lies and deceived one third of his angels. They foolishly agreed with him and they all started rebelling against God. Now what will happen if you rebel against the one and only God, the almighty, sovereign, all-powerful God? Obviously, you are. there is no way anybody can win. Let it be the devil or evil spirit, whoever it is. The beast system of this world, everything is vanities, useless people. Should have, oh, I'm sorry, that's the word the Holy Spirit is telling. They should have some sense. How can you fight against the one and only God who created you and overcome him? How foolish can that be? Anyway, you know, because the word says he's uh, full of wisdom. But this, this, uh, you know, the intention and the ultimate goal of the devil to be like God and all that. That is a proof that how idiotic and uh, stupid he is. How foolish he can be. And how foolish can those one third angels who go behind him, after him. And how foolish can these, uh, the, you know, these different families of the Illuminati or the different uh, authorities or whoever is in power or rich people who are in this, uh, you know, the beast system of this world and all that. They, they all are hoping that they can overcome the one and only God. I just I, I just don't understand how they don't have at least the common sense, the basic common sense. Anyway, now, because of greed, he rebelled. And when he rebels, of course, what will happen? God banished him out of the kingdom of God. That's why somewhere in the second heaven, he is settled. What we see with the eye is the sky. That is the first heaven. Then the third heaven is... Uh, God's throne. Second heaven, God did not create any second heaven. But because the kingdom of darkness is settled in second heaven and they are there. So just for our understanding, that's why the second heaven, 
that word came about all right anyway so because of the discontentment greed comes in and then rebellion comes in right so that's how you know i came in what will i do i will you know fool us and deceive us into thinking that i know god forbid i know and then i can but the word says jesus says you can do nothing on your own without me you can do nothing that's the truth there is um, john chapter 15 verse 5 if I am, my memory is correct thank you lord john chapter 15 verse 5 says like this i am the vine you are the branches he who abides in me and i in him bears much fruit for without me you can do nothing amen hallelujah so this i it will bring in you know i know i can and all those you know vanities these are the vanities lies deception bewitchment and all that so i brought in i know i can do and all those things you know what the pride will do because after the i came into lucifer he went and he you know he wanted to get uh, uh, the the a throne a, a his own kingdom and all those things then he was looking at himself then his heart was lifted up because of pride that's what the word says so what does pride do pride does pride will exalt i it will try to exalt itself above anything and everything uh, you know regarding god and all that so pride will exalt i and it will reject god and it will try to rebel against god so what will happen obviously the one and only all powerful <laughs> almighty sovereign god it kindles god the lord of host <laughs> he's the lord of host even one single angel came to this earth i think it's in second kings if i am right my memory is right you know 185000 of humans were killed that that is only for record you know it doesn't mean only 185000 can be killed and god has millions and millions of angels that's why god is called our god is a consuming fire and he is the lord of hosts amen and so this pride i you know pride will exalt i and uh, and it rejects god and rebels against god and it will kindle god the lord of hosts to fight against us god forbid so we shouldn't go against the truth let me have some water please there is only one and only god jesus christ the lord and savior of this world more precisely speaking jesus is the soul of god the holy spirit is the spirit of god our fa- loving father god is the spiritual body of god there are three spirit person one god being this is about trinity this is all in the previous uh, videos please go to the channel grace fresh foods and watch those videos with the help of the holy spirit and be blessed right then only you will have a full picture of what the holy spirit is revealing right so that service so one and only god is there we and he loves us so much he loves us you know unconditionally and therefore unlimited the love the agape love of god is unlimited that's why he gave himself on the cross for our sins that the death on the cross was so painful and gruesome death because he loves us more than himself amen hallelujah once you experience that love my dear brothers and sisters there is no way you can be separated from the love of god by anyone or anything amen hallelujah so we have to submit ourselves you know the truth is he is the one and only god and we have to you know accept the truth and then be wise by god's grace to accept the truth and first of all receive his love all he is telling is he loves you all he is telling is he loves you so receive the love once you receive the love then your heart and hearts will be softened because the roman chapter 5 verse 5 it says it is the holy spirit who pours the love of god into our hearts so when the heart and heart is softened then the i and the pride will be removed from us and we will you know experience god's love and we will enjoy divine peace divine joy divine life the you know one and only god will come in and live inside of us and all that anyway now 
So we should not be foolish like Lucifer or the, you know, or the one third of the evil spirits and all that. We should accept the truth. We will receive the love, accept the love of God, the agape love of God. And then, uh, you know, we should accept the truth and all that we submit. We shouldn't rebel. We shouldn't rebel foolishly. God forbid. All right. Now, how can we, uh, you know, be? Uh, uh, how can we not allow? How can we be without allowing uh, this discontentment or greed or rebellion to uh, to be instilled? Those evil seeds to be instilled by the devil into us. The same thing. How he was banished from uh, heaven. The same evil seeds of discontentment, greed, rebellion, I pride, hard and hard, he wants to instill into us and, you know, go, he wants to make us also rebel and all that, deceive us with this, all the pleasures of sin in this world and all that. And he wants to pull us all together with him into the eternal fire. Please be vigilant and alert about this. So how can we, you know, resist the devil? How can we uh, fight against this the the spiritual battle and do how can we be without allowing the devil to instill this evil seeds of discontentment greed and rebellion how first thing receive the love of god that's what the fulfillment of agape love only that can save us first of all we should get the revelation how much god loves us the holy spirit is you know knocking as you are hearing now the holy spirit is knocking into the doors of your heart my dear brothers and sisters give him one chance revelation chapter 3 verse uh, 20 it says for verse 19 says as many as i love i rebuke and chase and therefore be zealous and repent and verse 20 it says behold i stand you know outside and then i am knocking at the door of your heart. If anyone hears my voice and opens, I will come in and dine with him and he with me. That's the start of the personal fellowship. Right? So, allow the Holy Spirit to pour the love of God into you. Then, you know, first of all, you should get a revelation about the love of God. You know, one and only God. He couldn't uh, sit on his throne, continue to sit on his throne when, you know, foolishly our forefathers and of course we also uh, sinned against God because the word says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God right so he came down from throne and gave himself on the cross it's a gruesome and painful death he died in uh, you know my place and your place my dear brothers and sisters that's the love of God you know the unconditional and therefore unlimited agape love of God the suffering on the cross is a very demonstration of God's love so you get the revelation the Holy Spirit will help you then you will Come to know the love of God. You will understand the love of God. Then you will be able to feel the love of God. Then you will experience the love of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Then that fulfillment of agape love. When you realize how much we do not deserve this love. All of us because all have sin, sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We all deserve to be thrown into the eternal fire. God forbid. But because of his unconditional and therefore unlimited agape love, he has given us a way of salvation to save us from the eternal fire. The wrath of God is coming. We are living in the last days, my dear brothers and sisters. Jesus is going to come. We are living in the last days. All the things are happening around as it is said in the word of God. That is the Bible. So please, at least in these last days, wake up and be alert and be vigilant. And resist the devil and he will flee from you. James chapter 4 verse you know, 6 and 7. Thank you Lord. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. And uh, you know, accept God's love. So the fulfillment of agape love. That is the only thing. That is one of the things which will uh, allow us to. You know which will enable us in our spirit. By the help of the Holy Spirit to reject discontentment. Never be discontent. What? You know, God is the sovereign God. He is, he, everything is in His control. And he, he loves us with His agape love. And after we are born in the, before we are born in the spirit, then we are the, His children by creation. Right? After we are born in the spirit in the baptism, by water, uh, water baptism, by immersion, then we become, by His grace, we become the children of God in the spirit. Then the third one, that is, 
we are the adopted children of God in the spirit. First one, you know, God is sovereign God and he loves us with this agape love. Third one is we are the adopted children of God in the spirit. So these three things cannot be changed whether we believe it or not, whether we feel it or not and all that. All the trials or different difficulties and all those things, God is in control. Nothing can happen to us without him allowing. So it is him who is allowing. Let me ask some water please. And so that truth should, you know, you should never leave that truth no matter what tribulation or persecution you are going through and all that. So, first of all, you should be filled with the agape love of God. Then the second thing is you should lead a divine life with the help of the Holy Spirit after being born in the Spirit. It should give, uh, give you a sufficiency, the truth about sufficiency, what? Whatever God has given is more than enough. That's the truth. Whatever God has given is more than enough. And whatever he allows is only for our good. Because through trials and tribulation, that is like a training to fight this spiritual battle. Like zealous soldiers of Jesus Christ. Then only we can overcome the devil. The, you know, the devices and the cunning ways of the devil. That's why God allows trials and tribulation in our life. And he, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13. Thank you Lord. Yes, First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13, it says, God will never allow us to be tempted beyond what we can bear. You see, so before allowing temptation, that is, you know, God has put a protective edge around all his children. And then before opening that for the devil to tempt us, he has already through grace blessed us with the light, revelation, with the power in the spirit and strength in the body so that we can fight that spiritual battle, the particular trial or you know, temptation and all that and overcome that with the help of the Holy Spirit. That's why uh, First Corinthians chapter 10, 13, it says, He will never allow us to be ten tempted beyond what we can bear. Amen. Hallelujah. See how loving God is. Well, like he just wants to train us. That's all. Something like a military training and all that. Right? This is actually, we have, our struggle is not against blood and flesh, but against the, you know, uh, rulers of this darkness against the principalities, powers and all that. This is a spiritual battle in the spirit, right? So that's why we need the whole armor of God. That is uh, Ephesians chapter 6. Thank you, Lord. Starting from verse 10 onwards, right? So we have to get the truth that, you know, whatever we have in life, we should be sufficient with that. That is God who has blessed us, right? So first one is, we should get, we should be filled with the agape love of God. That is that gives a fulfillment, so we can reject discontentment. Next one, then the sufficiency of you know divine life. That is whatever God has blessed. That is enough. And then, then by God's grace, you know, after you are born in the spirit, first thing, because it is said in the word about the, you know do don't do this, do this, and all those things. Lovingly, God is telling you will. Uh, follow and obey because it is uh, said in the word. Then as you grow in love, second thing, you will follow that because you don't want to hurt your loving father. That's how you grow in this uh, love, in spirit, as the Holy Spirit teaches you because he is the Holy Spirit is the comforter, the teacher and the helper. Then as you grow more in love, you know, by God's grace, you, you, your nature and character becomes uh, like Jesus Christ. Right? That's how that is what our calling is. We are called to be transformed to the image of Jesus Christ. And Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5 verse 48, Thank you Lord. You shall be perfect just as my father, just as your father in heaven is perfect. You shall be perfect just as your father in heaven is perfect. So spiritually as we grow in love, we grow into the very nature and character of our father God. That's what Jesus said. This is what Christianity is. Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is a relationship, loving relationship between our loving Father God and us, the adopted children of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So when these truths and all, graciously the Holy Spirit reveals to us, you know, the word says, whoever is thirsty, the Holy Spirit, the living water will be poured into them. Right? So it's all about what you want. Where If you seek Him, He is always there to come in and uh, you know fill us with his love and revelation and all that 
So that's what in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 it says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things, that is whatever you need for your worldly life, will be added unto you. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. But the devil, what he will, he will turn everything upside down. He will, you know, you know, even, unfortunately, sorry to say that, many uh, Christians in their mind, he has put, oh, seek first the worldly blessing. It doesn't say in the word at all. Anyway, that's all about the, you know, the, the deception and the bewitchment in the churches and all that, unfortunately. Because the churches are supposed to be the salt and the light to the world. If churches themselves is deceived, then who can save this world? Whom can God use to save this world? Perishing and every day, every second it's being pulled towards the eternal fire. Because the word says God will destroy this earth and the and the heaven meaning the sky and all that. Okay, anyway. So, first thing, fulfillment of agape love. And the next one is sufficiency of divine life. And then, you know, God's uh, nature, the love nature. So, now because we love God. First of all, we, we were given the revelation that God loves us more than Him. Right? And then now we love uh, God more than ourselves. Now what will happen? We, there is no way by God's grace we will get any discontentment because whatever God has given us, even the salvation, you know, even His grace, the mercy, the love, the long suffering, the patience, whatever it is, even the breath of life, you know, I am talking this much, what I ex breathe out, if, unless God grace is there, I cannot breathe in, I am finished, I am dead. But by God's grace, because I am a child of God, I go to sleep. That's all. It's not death. But <laughs> worldly terms, of course, it is death. But it is all His grace. We don't deserve to receive any of these things. Every day, even now, today, how many people have died already? And how many of them have dry, died outside of Jesus Christ? And when they wake up, they go to eternal fire. Oh, God forbid. But God graciously has given us one more day. Please make use of this grace period when it is not too late. Don't allow it to be too late, my dear brothers and sisters. So all these things we don't deserve to receive. That's the truth. So when we realize that we don't deserve, and and but still God out of His uh, you know unconditional and therefore unlimited agape love has blessed us with all these things. There is no way we can get discontentment. Whatever we have, we will be very much, very much, you know, satisfied with that, content with that. So when discontentment is not there, then the next step is, you know, we will be very feeling very sufficient in this divine life, the spiritual life we live with the help of the Holy Spirit and all that. Then the loving nature will come. We will love God more than ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. That is the aim. Any true Christian who has denied himself for herself and taken up his or her cross and following God daily, Please don't forget the word daily, every day. That's in Luke. Uh, Luke chapter 9 verse 23. Thank you Lord. Uh, Luke chapter 9 verse 23 says that. If. Uh, there you go. Then he said to them all. If anyone desires to come after me. Let him deny himself and take up his cross daily. The word daily is important. Because the devil, the you know, the kingdom of darkness, the B system of this world is fighting against us every second, every day to snatch away the salvation which God has graciously given us through the through His suffering on the cross. So that's why we have to deny ourselves and take up our our own cross. This is not the cross of Jesus Christ, and follow Him daily. You know, take up the cross daily and. Follow me. That's what Jesus Christ said in Luke chapter 9 verse 23. Thank you Lord. Right? Let me have some water please. Then these are the children of God who are really born again in the spirit. And they will be able to, the Holy Spirit will help them with 
you know with the love he, he will help them to love god more than themselves no matter what happens to them they don't care nothing can separate them from the love of god amen hallelujah nothing and no one can separate them from the love of god no matter how hard this kingdom of darkness the beast system of the, this world they try all with the lies and their their false propagandas and deception and bewitchment they try by god's grace nothing to boast here or oh, with all humbleness i am telling by god's grace and mercy nothing or no one can separate us from the love of god even if it cost our own life because we love god by god's grace more than he loves us because he loved us more than he loves himself that's the secret this is a basic truth my dear brothers and sisters this should be the foundation of all the children of god because it is a relationship right for a relationship the foundation is love just as god loved us more than himself we have to love him more than ourselves that is the foundation that's when we have by god's grace this foundation then we will not get discontentment the devil cannot instill discontentment see many people whenever we are not blaming or pinpointing at anybody but you know from them we are learning and learning how we should not live our lives they are never ever satisfied that is the discontentment the evil seed of discontentment because that's how lucifer started that's how lucifer lucifer became devil and because of the devil only this much of pain and suffering in this world see coronavirus how many people are dying that is the devil of course god is sovereign and he allows these are all covered in the previous videos please go to the channel grace fresh foods and watch those videos with the help of the holy spirit and be blessed so when we have that love when we love uh, our god more than ourselves then these evil seeds of discontentment greed or rebellion will not be the devil will not be able to instill them into us revelation chapter 12 verse 11 thank you lord revelation chapter 12 verse 11 it talk about it talks about those who have overcome right it says here you know and they that means those who have you know endured till the end only those who endure till the end will be saved that's what the word is telling all right once saved always saved is a lie from the pit of hell please do not believe it so only those who endure till the end will be saved and those are called the overcomers and even jesus say i will give only the overcomers for them to come and you know sit with me on the throne and all that the word is telling so revelation chapter 12 verse 11 is telling and they they refers to the overcomers and uh, you know overcame him him refers to the devil by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they did not love their lives to the death that is very important hardly rarely any church has teach this they did not love their lives to the death my dear brothers and sisters nothing should be able to deve, you know separate us from the love of god god bless you all we'll continue in the next video god bless you all oh.